before I get into the video, I do want to say there's going to be spoilers for the comics, you know, for both series, DC and Image Comics, um, Invincible. So, be aware of that. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about comic book continuity, continuity as well. And, you know, because I'm speaking of the comic books, the, they're probably going to animate this and, you know, just spoil it for the show. Um, and then for Superman, I'm going to try not to use multiple different versions of him. I'm going to stick with the main, um, I believe, Earth-52 Superman. And I'm going to include, uh, well, if I have to, then I will include things from the reboots. The Earth-52 has only been rebooted like twice, so there's kind of three different main continuities of him. But because it's the same universe, and each reboot, each crisis, he does something, you know, that he has to be more stronger for. Um, I'm going to say that he could do everything he could do in the other um, pre-crisis before the reboots or whatever. And uh, yeah, so let's get into it. I'm going to start off by talking about their abilities and the peak of the, like, the maximum that their ability is able to do for them. Anyways, so for Omni Man, he's able to fly. He has vast durability. And even if he does get, um, like, someone is able to get past his durability, he does have a healing factor. He's not as good as Wolverines or even Hulk or anyone like that. But still, he was, he was, he was punched through the stomach, the chest, whatever, a significant amount of times, I say three different times, and two out of the three times he was able to heal and come back a little bit stronger than before, um, also brings me to the next power, that every time that they do get defeated and are on the brink of death, they are able, you know, they come back a, a tad bit stronger, he also has, like, increased hearing senses and sight like that. Um, like, increased senses, and he has vast superhuman strength, his whole species is basically able to wipe out, um, different planets on their own, and stuff like that, in the comics, him, him, his, him himself, his son, and another rogue Viltrumite were able to destroy, um, his home planet, to basically... Like, mess with the other Viltrumite's head, and this is what led to the Viltrumite War. Um, anyways, yes, it was three of them, and the planet was kind of unstable, but still, that's, that's a planet that they just flew through and made it explode. So I, I think that, that's, that's it, that's, you know, that's top tier. Superman also has flight, super strength, durability, he also has more powers beyond that. We know for a fact that he has X-ray vision. We know for a fact that he does have, um, super hearing, super, superhuman hearing. I said that Omni Man had it, but that's more of a speculation. Um, so it's not guaranteed. So, in head cannon, you can say that he doesn't even have those abilities. In this fight, that probably, you know, those abilities probably aren't that necessary. But either way, um, these are powers that Superman does have, and Omni Man has a possibility of having. Superman also has. Superhuman breath. He has two different kind of breaths. So like one breath where he could just blow you away and shit. Like if Hulk were to clap and blow you away. Um, and then he also has freeze breath where he blows you normal. <laughs> and he could freeze you. Um, so that could also kind of halt, um, Omni Man as well. Um, uh, then Superman has heat vision. Uh, um, <laughs> and he, he also has a supercharge. The supercharge basically when he absorbs the the you know the power of the, the sun or whatever, because that's how he gains his ability by absorbing the heat rays, the sun rays, whatever, however you wanna say it. Anyways, if he needs to, then basically he could release all the energy that he has just absorbed into like an ex a uh, small explosion basically. And, but I'm pretty sure that when he does this, this, you know, exhilarates, is that the right word? Either way, it takes away the power, like, his powerfulness, um, because he just spent it all on that one attack. Again, if he's near the sun, he can just, you know, basically get it back, and, yeah. 
Superman's most powerful, well, mo not most powerful, but his most famous strength feat is probably when he bench pressed, bench pressed the Earth for seven days straight. And this is him not even um getting you know any energy from the sun. This is just him. You know he might have been charged be before the five days started, but either way, that's five days without him getting what charges him up, and he's bench pressing the whole weight of the Earth. And bench, I don't know if you know this, but for people who don't work out or don't really know anything like that, bench press is just your chest and a little bit of your shoulders too. So that that's that's pretty, that's a lot of weight, especially just for that small section of your body. It's not your entire, it wasn't his entire body pushing the whole earth. It was just his chest. Um, He, he was also, with, with the help of Martian Manhunter, but it's still Big Feet, he pushed away Brainiac's ship. And Brainiac's ship, like, compared to Earth, the Earth looked like a little pebble to it. And this, it, what I'm about to say is never shown, but we basically already know it's true. And I guess if, you know, if you need to see it to believe it, then I guess you don't have to believe it. But Superman is at least planet level. He's able to destroy planets on his own. Superman is casually able to punch villains too from and through the moon back to back you know if you're if you're earth level then obviously this is the low ball feet and of course you could do this superman has lifted um something that weighs infinity and yes it was with the help of shazam but still what the hell is half of infinite or what is a third of infinite what what is a tenth of infinite you know what i'm saying like and he was carrying majority of it too so like, either way, they were both carrying infinity. It, it, it really, like, infinite is infinite. So, there's not any proportion of it. Even if he had help, really, it's not even help. Because, like I said, it's infinite. All the feats that I've said for Superman are only his strength feats. And as I said before, he has multiple powers beyond his strength. Including his laser vision. With his laser vision, he was able to blast and... Um, damage Brainiac's ship. Remember how I said that Brainiac's ship compared to Earth? Earth kind of looks like a small pebble. Yeah, he was able to damage this. And we know how, we know roughly the, dur um, the durability wise of Brainiac's ship because it's, you know, first off, it's constantly flying through space, taking over and destroying planets, but it's also able to survive black holes and going through black holes. We know through real life science that, you know, that black holes are able to, like, basically, corrupt and destroy universes and in comics usually everything is exaggerated expended upon so this black pole you know is at least universe level and because of comics it might be even beyond that and shit like that and t talking about black holes and you know I, and durability of a ship superman's durability he's able to close and fly through black holes on his own Flying through a black hole? Come on now. Now to speed. And uh, in the Invisible Universe, it isn't really sh um shown or even... I don't even think there's really talked about their speed. But we know that from the show and even... Well, from the show, and we could kind of speculate in the comics. When the show, um, Invincible and his father are able to fly to, you know, Antarctica to home. Home, which is America. And just across the world within seconds and stuff like that and i'd say that um omni man is slowing himself down so that he could be with his son in invincible because invincible is a lot weaker and a lot slower than him well a lot weaker or whatever all around including speed um and invincible i mean omni man could just be lowballing himself and yeah later on in the series omni man um you know after he whoops Mark's ass, Omni Man flies to another universe, and we don't really know how, like, how long it took him to get there. But just the fact that he's flying to another universe and he's able to stay there, and then he sends an, um, one of his insubordinates, whatever, uh, one of his little grasshopper and minions to go get Mark, and Mark flies there within, I don't know, I say a couple hours at most. And like I said, I, I'm pretty sure Omni Man is way more powerful than Invincible, and including speed. So, you know, he probably got there in way less time than the. 
again, for Omni Man, is more speculation than facts really being said. But we know for sure that Superman is just way faster than him. Superman is constantly um racing Flash, and Flash is, and either it doesn't matter which Flash it is because even Bar Allen, um, not Bar Allen, shit, Barry Allen, right? Am I saying? It? Anyways, either way, the Flashes that he races are between the top three fastest characters in the whole DC universe, and the Flashes even state themselves that. Every time they look back, Superman is just barely behind them. And Superman himself is within the top 10 fastest um, speedsters of the DC Universe. I don't really know by memory like what specific spot he is in. But while editing, I will show a little text right here how, what place he is in. We know for sure that Superman is able to fly between multiple universes, you know, light years, um, within seconds. Now I'm going to be talking about combat capability. Superman has been a hero for many, many years, and even without being trained, he's able to learn and adapt to, you know, different powerful beings fighting. And, you know, because he has been a hero for a long time, and he has to fight and learn how to use his powers. He's even, he's not a master at it, but he has even been taught in the ways of pressure points and boxing but because you know he's so powerful he really doesn't even really need to use this ability but i think omni man is just way more better of a fighter first off his species are a combat species they're built for war so they know how to fight and they're always fighting they're always training constantly 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 and omni man has been a, a hero for at least 20 years and that itself is nothing to just his lifespan in general. He has been alive for thousands and thousands of years. And like I said, he is constantly fighting, take over, taking over planets and fighting amongst his people to, you know, show his strength. So his combat capability is just better than Superman. Now we're going to be talking about willpower. Willpower, th they both show a great vast amounts of willpower. Um, Omni Man, like I said, he you know he, he he's like the average Viltrum, and even he himself, like when he gets punctured, you know he, he um he has a bunch of broken bones, his guts are sticking out his stomach. He's still able to keep fighting and fights harder, even more harder. He goes more berserk. But the things the Omni Man has shown is really nothing compared to Superman, especially since how long Superman of comics has been out. My favorite um show of willpower is probably when he's fighting this like six dimension um being uh and it's the future justice anyways the six dimension being version of himself brings him to uh some planet that is millions and millions of light years away from the nearest sun and he drops him off there he I don't know if he's wasted his power but anyways he's like being drained he's way weakened now and you know, he's millions and millions of light years away from the near sun. With just his willpower, he's like, I have to, I have to. And he, like, I don't know. <laughs> he, like, absorbs the the power of the nearest star, star, sun, whatever you want to call it. Same thing anyway. And he's able to fly all of these millions of light years back to the place. And, you know, fight and seemingly defeat the sixth dimensional being. <laughs> And th remember, he was already weakened, and he's absorbing it the on the way over there. And he's, I don't know, that's that's crazy. He even defeated the six. Well, not really defeated because the six dimensional being was probably low balling itself because he's also a good guy. And these aren't all of Superman's feats, and these probably aren't even all of Omni Man's feats. And yeah, I know what you're probably saying, bro. With what you just told us, Superman is stomping Omni Man. Uh, yes, I do think that he'll win majority of fights, but I still think um, Omni Man is compar comparable to him. I think he's most comparable to Shazam, and I'd say Shazam is able to win like four, four out of ten. Like if Superman and Shazam were to fight ten times, I say Shazam were to beat Superman four out of these ten times, and um, Omni Man being comparable. No, I say like strength-wise, he's comparable to Shazam, 
Actually, probably a little bit better. So, like, I don't know, 4.5, maybe 5. And <laughs> that's pretty much it. But either way, um, damn, I can't speak anymore. Like I was saying, I do think that Omni-Man is a little bit more comparable to Superman than Shazam is. And I think Shazam wins about half of the fights that he has with Superman. And Omni-Man is just the average built environment. Like, for example, Thrag, he's able to curve stomp um, Omni-Man easily in his three fights that he has had with him. So that could be something that um, Superman does too. He could easily defeat him instantly as well. But you never know. I, and, and like I said, Omni-Man is just the average of to somebody. So maybe if he had a second one, he'd have, he'll have a way more of an advantage or probably not you never know